Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association Annie Blair and the story of Clun Place In the heart of Belfast, a city known for its complex history and divided communities, there exists a unique and isolated street known as Clun Place. This small cul-de-sac was home to 25 houses, forming a tight-knit Protestant community. The peace line separates the small enclave from the nationalist short strand. Sinn Féin IRA's intention was to rid Clun Place of all Protestants by any barbaric way possible. In May 2002, as tensions reached their boiling point, the IRA launched a vicious sectarian attacks on Clune Place, hurling pipe bombs, petrol bombs, bricks and other crude missiles into the street and shooting five innocent people. These ferocious attacks continued nightly into the autumn and then the IRA retreated, leaving Sinn Féin to spin the media narrative, portraying the short strand as the area under attack, diverting attention from the true victims, the Protestant residents of Cloon Place. The trouble was described by the then acting Chief Constable Colin Cramphorn as the worst disorder in the province for more than a decade. Similar attacks were made on other vulnerable Protestant areas such as Tigers Bay and White City. Since the peace process, these violent attacks from Sinn Féin IRA intimidated families from their homes, leaving only four of the 25 homes on Clun Place occupied. Amidst this turmoil and intimidation, there emerged a beacon of defiance. Her name was Annie Blair. Annie was the oldest resident of Clun Place, an 82-year-old widow who had lived in her home for most of her life and who refused to surrender to Republican aggression and intimidation. Annie was the youngest of seven siblings. She was married to Huey, who had sadly passed in the early 90s. Despite living through a lifetime of experiences, Annie rarely ventured far from Belfast, with Bangor being the furthest she had ever travelled. Even after enduring the trauma of a petrol bombing, she spent only a few nights with relatives and ultimately returned to her beloved home. Annie had already weathered the storm of the Blitz during her life and refused to be driven from her home. Her roots ran deep in East Belfast and she steadfastly declared that she would not yield to the forces of IRA violence. Annie's unwavering determination and resilience inspired others within the small community. They rallied together, refusing to be displaced from their homes and their history. Clune Place stands as a testament to the strength and unity of its Protestant residents. Despite the challenges and threats they faced, they persevered and joined together, ensuring that Clune Place remains a symbol of resilience and determination in the face of sectarianism. In memory of Annie Blair. There's a bench in Clun Place for everyone to share. It's dedicated to a lady. Her name is Annie Blair. A lady of great courage, respected and admired by family, friends and neighbours and people she inspired. Republicans had orders for Martin, Jerry and Donnie but the petrol bombs and missiles couldn't shift all Danny. The bullets and the firebombs came for the short strand. Arena terror started, so the locals made a stand. The loyalists for East Belfast will fight for all their worth, proud of dear old Ulster and of their British birth. And so we raise our glasses to a brave and loyal granny and remember how the provost couldn't shift all Danny. Five civilians shot, and the homeless in despair, but what of Annie's namesake, betrayed to Tony Blair. He was sitting safely at his home in Downing Street, while the home of British citizens lay burning at his feet. And when the fires and the embers lay there dying, the Union flag and red hand were still proudly flying. 
the community resisted and the rebels sculpted away. And Clune Place remains British till this day. The loyalists for East Belfast will fight for all their worth, proud of dear old Ulster and of their British birth. And so we raise our glasses to a brave and loyal granny and remember how the provost couldn't shift all Danny. If you're enjoying our channel, please let us know by clicking on the like, share and subscribe icons below. And thank you for your continued support.